Welcome back to Robbing Minds, and it's now time for our entertainment segment. And I'm joined by two beautiful ladies from Wazobia Max TV. I have to my left Ayo Thompson and Olive Emodi. Welcome to Robbing Minds. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very and much. You guys indeed. are looking really nice. Is this, was this on purpose? The Ankara tops. It no. wasn't. We didn't even plan. It just, it just happened. And I, it happens almost all the time. <laughs> oh, you see, like twins. Yeah. Somehow, I think because. <laughs> work together and stay together for so long we end up thinking alike i like yes oh, only okay. accuses me Ayo, you need to stop thinking like me <laughs> but, yeah, there we go. well we'll find out if you do think alike on the issues that we're going to discuss and straight into it what's up with social media celebrities i'm talking about people like bob risky that <laughs> without social media without snapchat instagram we probably would never have heard about them mm. and now they've been able to leverage that influence and become people that are influencing decisions, people okay. that brands are investing in. Is that a trend we should expect to continue, Ayo? Oh, okay, great. I mean, to be fair, with technology and the internet, we've seen different things. We've seen things that we probably never thought would happen many years ago happening. You know, one of such is social media celebrities or internet celebrities, and there are many. They're growing each day. And for to be honest, I don't see anything wrong with it. The reason is because, yes, you're not doing physical work, you know, as we're used to go to the office to get popularity or, you know, a great cause, but a lot of creativity goes into it. Now, if you've ever had to manage your social media handles, you will know that it takes a lot of work. And perhaps Oli should talk, you yeah, know, because she's, <laughs> she's a social, I consider her social media celebrity. Really, I don't think I am. I just, I, there are people who have more followers, but I think I'd agree with Aya on this one because right now, we are at the level where we need to just go beyond beyond PR. We see people who want to announce an upcoming act, yeah. and rather than take them to the public relations agencies, they take them to people and tell them, please, um, post on my social media, post on your social media, let's just hype. And people are charging these days. Yeah. Reports have it that um, Kylie Jenner charges $300,000 for a post, a single post. And it takes a lot of work for you to engage these people and bring out things that would actually keep them glued. You see sometimes, you see some people unfollowing and if they don't find something interesting. So like I said, it takes a lot of creativity and that should be rewarded. But I have to put a little, okay. sorry, because yes, we're saying it's a good um, trend, it's a good phenomenon, but I have to also say that sometimes it downplays the hard work of people sometimes. You see people receiving awards, making a lot of money for doing next to nothing. And I put that in, a, you know, in inverted commas, commas. because Sometimes it, and it, it almost makes us a shallow society whereby we're not celebrating what should be celebrated and we're looking at people who are working but not, you know, who are not doing so much but earning, you know, the accolades of someone that should, you know, of someone that has worked a lot. But it's not going away anytime but, soon. But if you look at it, like somebody starts a YouTube channel, yeah. somebody goes on Instagram, starts an account, gets all these followers. Then, and this person hasn't gone through the rudiments of media training, for example, mm -hmm. has not gone to study, has not gone to do an apprenticeship, has not gotten work experience. Doesn't that say that it's okay not to follow this path? And then what happens to media like television, radio, that kind of traditional media? I, I think I would say that. The, it, the idea is that change is never, you know, change, change is always opposed. You don't like, ch um, a lot of human beings do not like change. However, we're, we're speaking from the perspective of traditional African values, whereby if you're not a lawyer, doctor, engineer, you have not yet started, you're not a serious person. It's only now that you hear the salaries of footballers. And you now say, okay, I want my child to, you know, to go and learn football without even necessarily going to school. So I guess the, it's changed, the narrative is changing, the discussions are changing, yes. and we're seeing that it is possible. You know, but what you could now channel it is to make it wholesome and then get education and training. And it's also important because it creates an avenue for people to showcase themselves. So, for example, um, I could be someone who has always had the flair for being on TV, but I just never got the opportunity. I opened my Instagram page or my YouTube page. And with much studying, much studying and work, I put up these videos and I put there. And after a while, the right person sees me. So I believe that there, there are models who have gotten agencies that have booked them, just have scouted for them just by their social media pages and their, YouTube, their social media pages, all of them. So basically, I, I think it's something that's important. Yes, you feel that there are other people doing more work that need to be um, um, given accolades, but these people put in the work as well and sell themselves. So yeah, it's something that we should expect in, we don't expect it to go away anytime soon. Okay. Should we take these people seriously? Like everybody that <laughs> starts 
a social media account, everybody that starts a blog, anybody that starts a YouTube show, you know, a vlog, should we take them seriously? Are they going to continue to fake it so um, they make it? Should we take them seriously will be dependent on the sort of content that they're putting out. Now, for me, I like to follow people that make me laugh. We know that Nigeria is a very stressful place sometimes, and you just really want to laugh. So yes, we have the Instagram comedians that will, they will not go out of fashion. But there are some people who go online to put on raunchy content. I will not follow you. So basically, it's, we should take them seriously, the ones who put on content. But I think we should discourage the ones who go there to make a fool of themselves. Let me tell you something. A lot of people say that Kim Kardashian is an airhead because you just see her pout and she's making a lot of money. But I dare say that she's one of the most intelligent. I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not um, saying that what yes. she's doing or I believe in her values or endorsing her. Yes. I'm saying that it takes a little bit more than pouting to do what she's doing. Do it. Yeah. Okay, so celebrities like Kim Kardashian, Bob Risky, you know, celebrities that have become celebrities overnight on social media, are they really celebrities? Can they, you know, hold up their own against to a proper definition of celebrities? Yes, I believe so. Now, there's a difference, and I think a number of celebrities are now making that difference. There's a difference between being a celebrity and a role model. Unfortunately, many times that line is, being, is blurred. So a lot of people see someone whose face is out there and they're like, you're a role model. Not all celebrities are role models. Who is a sure. celebrity? Someone that is celebrated, someone that is famous. Might not be popular, but he's famous. And, um, you know, so yes, but in terms of diff maybe what we now have to do to redefine everything is to make it distinction between what who is a celebrity and who is a role model a public figure but be don't you feel like say with the kylie jenner that is so influential and yeah. is making all this money and there was a time she had this jenner lip challenge where people were putting their lips inside bottles and yes. it would double in size without knowing it she's become a role model and then Negative. if we find we find out that you know the lips are not even real she had some temporary lip fillers and these people, because of that influence, by de facto, they are now role models. So how would you really differentiate or distinguish or say, oh, this is a celebrity, this is a role model, I think it's this is someone that's faking it? <laughs> celebrity role model, can it sell it? Is a role model, a role model is somebody who people look up to, whom people think have values. Or I know that's actually a very gray area because what you consider values, I may not consider values. But give and take, people who... Children, you can leave children to watch them, and the children won't, and you wouldn't cringe that the children are watching them. And we have a lot of celebrities, celebrities that I do not think are celebrities, but it's fine. Social media celebrates them, they have their own followers, and when they do meet and greets, oh, you should go for the meet and greet. They have people come out and yeah. mouse to support them and show them love. But it doesn't, the only way for me would be if I like what you're doing, I follow you. You can have a million followers. If I don't like what you represent and what you stand for, I will not follow you. So I think starting from the home front with younger people, with, with children, parents should ensure that you instill the moral values in your children. Do not wait for social media to, um, to educate okay. them because you just might actually have set yourself up for a surprise. Exactly. Can I just add to what Olive yes, said? Yes, you can. It is important to understand that we cannot stop what is happening. It is something that is almost organic, whether someone started it out or not. You know, it is happening. We have to come. We have to almost accept it. Now, as parents, like Olive mentioned, you have to do your due diligence. It's either you educate your children who or what is right so that they have values and also society as well. Whatever people feed on is what the news will report. So if people like a particular person, and even if the person's values are rubbish, then they will still carry that news because that's what sells. So it's up to people who have strong values to either use these tools that other people are using to pass on their message or nothing at all. Oh, okay. Well, and for, yeah, beyond that, like I said, the people who have the good values, the good, yeah. um, so if you're out there and you think you have something to offer, and the ones who have a large following on social media can now use this as an opportunity for them to actually pass out the good message. So you see celebrities, I don't want to call some names, they put up some very controversial things and other celebrities come out to counter them and say, yeah. I do not stand for this, I do not represent this. So with a strong voice, those with strong moral values should come out and speak up. Yeah. If not, the people with the terrible moral values will take over and there's nothing we can really do about it. Use the power that you have. Don't shy away from it and be saying, no, it's bad. If we keep saying it's bad,